What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 26 of my blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. We are uh, we are in Aether Paradise, the man-made island that I'm still pretty confident that Nebby was taken from by Lily, and it makes sense because it's an island out in the middle of nowhere. We say that uh, they've been saying when they found her, she was just on the shore, so she probably jumped out through like a wormhole that Nebby made and landed in the water and washed ashore and they found her. So I, I don't know. I'm I, That's what I'm seeing at least. I mean, I could be wrong, but this looks a whole lot like the area that at the beginning of the game she was running through. Go check out episode one of the playthrough if you want to see that again. But we just, in the end of the last episode, saw a wormhole open. Uh, so uh, that hole, that Pokemon, what in the world are they? So um, yeah, I guess... I guess we just burr. Do we attack it? <clears throat> Seems like it. What's this Pokemon called? Burr? Question mark. It's a totem Pokemon. Defense rose sharply. Um. Looks a lot like a Jellicent. I'm assuming we can't catch it. No, it looks like we can catch it. Um, level 27. I'm just a little Fromantis, but oh god, it's got Venoshock. Oh my word, wow. <laughs> Beast Boost, and it's Special Defense Rose. Oh boy. Um, let's get this thing to sleep as soon as possible and play an intelligent game of not just getting completely wrecked by this thing. It's faster than me. Shouldn't that have been super effective? I'm part fairy. Venoshock? Hmm. I'm not going to question it. <clears throat> Now, I really don't want to kill this thing, uh, and I know its defenses have been raised, so I should be okay. But let's click Sparkling Aria here. I'm a fully evolved Pokemon. This is a 90 base power attack. Yeah, that hits that thing hard. Uh, Disarming Voice is significantly weaker. So I should be able to get this thing a little closer Maybe in the red zone. Oh boy, I uh, forgot. It's poison type, <clears throat> so that didn't. Be <laughs> that hardly did anything at all. I think I need it weaker, though. I think I need to keep hitting it with those weak, weak, weak disarming voices, and then just put it back to sleep with, with sing whenever I get a chance. What it fled? No! No! So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. Ah! I'm assuming it wouldn't have let me catch it. Oh yeah, because Pokeballs don't work here. So I didn't even, I mean, at least I hope that's the case. They said that Pokeballs don't work within this area, so. What, Miss Lusamine, did you say something? That creature we just saw was undoubtedly an Ultra Beast. An unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from the Ultra Wormhole. It looks like it was suffering, like it pained it to be in this strange place. I still can't bear to see that happen. I will save it and I will love it. Thank you, both of you. Thank you so much. Wick, these two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to their next island. Oh, at once, ma'am. I will go check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. Speak to Mr. Faba about what happened directly downstairs. And of course, newest and perhaps greatest duty yet, protection of the Ultra Beasts. Hmm. 
I am disappointed if I'd known that I couldn't catch it. If I'd been smart and thrown a Pokeball and it had told me that they won't work here, then I would have just killed it outright with two of the sparkling Arias. Wouldn't have played this weird game of trying to weaken it so much because maybe I could have gotten a lot of experience from it. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Talking about wanting to go somewhere, giving a gift. Tastes even better if you get them from someone else. So, how likes Malasadas a lot? Tastes better when you share them with someone. A TM for the move Psychic. So, I become a stronger trainer, and how gets fattened up by Malasada. <clears throat> how waves like this, even when they're like two steps away from him? Like, uh, Wick! Wick over here! Wick! Wick! Heart's kind of racing, you know? Oh, I can't fast forward this. I just gotta sit back and watch it. Ultra Beasts. The world is just way too big. This person in the front's like, oh, this kid is yelling behind me. I can discover something on the new island. I'm gonna need all the t energy we can get. Time to dig in. He's gonna eat his malasada. Oh my god. I don't know what he's eating, but I want the exact same thing that that is. <laughs> he loves food. He's like me. I'll eat anything twice. Ula Ula Island. Okay. So we've done... This is island number three. I kind of I should have looked a little more closely at the world map, but I think there's four major islands. I think that's what I remember from the fly move with Charizard. Got some Pelippers here. Oh, so this is like Nola. We're in New Orleans right now. Pokemon's is here to stop it. This is a really nice looking place. Land ahoy! Terra firma underfoot again. Uh, firm land, terra firma. <clears throat> Ula Ula Island is like another totally different place than Melee Melee or Akala, huh? I've got an idea, idea Gia. Let's have a battle. Sure. All right. All right. Let's do it, How? Boss fight. The screen faded out for a second there and then faded back, and I thought it was going to be like, oh, you beat me again. And I was like, I didn't even, <laughs> even battle you. But he's got a third Pokemon now. I wonder what it is. What? He's got a Raichu now. What? What is happening? What is going on with that Raichu? No way. Wait, he's surfing on his own tail. No way. That's so cool. I wonder if that's like Pikachu with the pika -Zium. Or whatever. <clears throat> um... Nips isn't going to be able to beat Garfield, so there's no point in trying to set up with growth right now. Best bet here is to just go for Leaf Blade, try and take on the Raichu one-on-one. -on -one. Raichu actually has Psychic. Oh! Raichu a beast! <laughs> My god! Okay, so one of the things I'm curious about, I know it can learn Psychic naturally just from a TM in previous gens, but... I don't know whether or not it's actually a psychic type now. So I'm going to hit it with uh, with X Scissor here to see if it's super effective. It's not, but it's still super weak defensively. So Raichu goes down. So it's not part psychic. Looks like it's still just a normal uh, electric type. Thing hits so hard though. My word. He's got Tora Cat. Let's switch out. Uh, we can bring in Kung Fu Fu here. I got a bunch of fully evolves. I gotta switch these guys out. I got some more things to evolve. Maybe Young Goose should come back. Goose! Tora Cat! Hit him with that brick break. Oh god, he's Z moving me. Oh boy, calm down, Torracat. 
Oh god, he's Inferno overdriving my face. Calm down. There's no need to destroy the entire planet. Oh, that didn't do very much damage at all. I hit harder just going for a brick break. Just going with the... Gosh. He's got that fire fang. Did almost... Oh, it's a crit. No <laughs> wonder it did almost as much damage. Torcat goes down. And Pedo Bear uh, gains some experience. Bouncy gains some experience. I gotta get rid of Bouncy. Uh, and Leafeon to finish off the... Finish off the battle. Let's switch Bugnitude back in here. I'm not sure what coverage move he's gonna have. Um, and I don't know if I'm holding an item. Am I holding an item? Bugnitude is not holding an item. Oh, who has an amulet coin? Shoot. This sucks. I need to switch in little P. Even though grass is super effective against me because I need the amulet coin boost. Going straight for that Giga Drain. Actually, I'm high enough level that it doesn't really even matter, so I should be okay here. Uh, Sparkling Aura is... Aria is 90 base power. It resists, so it'll hit for 45. Uh, Disarming Voice is... What? 40 st uh, stab for 60. Acrobatics is 55 because I'm holding an item. And super effective for 110. But Leafeon has really good defense and I'm not a physical attacker. So it might be better for me to go back to Disarming Voice. He's Giga draining me so maybe I just shouldn't even bother. I'm sing this thing to sleep. I miss. I don't know that I can take another one. Oh, I miss a second time. Oof, I live on three. Uh, not worth it for me to just stay in here taking this constantly. Let's switch into Peck Peck. Ooh, that was a really smart play by Hao trying to finish me off with that quick attack. That paper boy. I don't think I need the speed boost from a flame charge. I'm just going to go straight away for a pluck. Super effective stab. God, Leafeon is a beast. Go for the Z power, but there really isn't any point. Uh, a stab super effective pluck is probably stronger. Didn't quite finish it off. Yeah, he's just spamming quick attack now. Not gonna do the trick, old boy. Old bean. We do manage to get a really good amount of experience here. To finish everything off. He had his breath held that entire battle. That's just, you're just an idiot. Don't do that. That's a mistake. Took the breath away. Can't breathe the fresh air that way. Uh, we're going to meet in Mali Garden. Why do you want to go to the garden? Guess we'll find out when we get there. So, where are we at, though? You made it to Ula Ula Island, big boy. That means a whole new island Pokedex. Zzzt. It's up to you what new Pokemon you'll uncover here, Geo. Zzzt. What's the name of this place? Oh, yeah, Mali City. Enjoy the enticing eastern influence. How eastern are we talking? Uh, this is where we came from. There's a Corsola over here. See la. Fairy Terminal. Uh, last time we were here, I didn't really check the Fairy Terminal to see if there's anything in there. I'm going to check it this time. Polyworld over there. Trainer. Uh, old people waiting for the fairy. And a shop that I can't buy anything from, right? Okay. Good to know. Let's head back along the old dusty trail here. Uh, I could heal up my Pokemon in there. 
On the map, you can see to the left is where I'm supposed to go. So I might as well just go there and continue the story arc. I wonder if I should get rid of some of these Pokemon. Probably not until I have a reason to, although I should get Goose in here. Because there's no reason for me to not be evolving Goose when I can be. Is there anything else that needs evolving that's new to this Dex? Goose, you can take place of... Uh, <clears throat> I don't really know who I want to get rid of, actually. I kind of like all the Pokemon that I have right now. Oh, but I also have Crab Brawler, and Crab Brawler can... Yeah, okay, so Crab Brawler, you're going to take place of uh, Kung Fu Fu. Um, Goose, you can, I guess, take place of... This is just temporary, but Peck Peck, we're going we're gonna to take Peck Peck out of the party. I really do like Two Cannon. Two Cannon is really cool, and I want him back. Uh, I just need to evolve Young Goose first. That's the only thing. Uh, we got uh, some new items. T TM Shop. What we got? Roost. That's a good TM. Smackdown. It's all right. It has its uses. Facade. Amazing. Steel Wing, great. Wow, some really awesome ones here. U-Turn, Swords Dance. I need, I need uh, twenty-eight thousand more money. So what can I sell? Uh, I got to sell something. I got a few nuggets. Three of them. Uh, two pearls. Got a big pearl. Certain classic collectors are seeking that item. I don't need three sharp beaks. They're not really worth much, though, so um, probably doesn't benefit me to sell them. Can sold at a high price to shops. Fifteen hundred, not bad at all. Strange souvenir. Oh yeah, I just held on to that. I don't, still don't know what it does. You know what? This is probably enough for now. Uh, I mean, I think it's it's enough for me to to buy the remaining TMs. This is great, though. This is some of these are really important competitive TMs. Looks like we got them all. Is there anything here that we need to buy? Probably a good idea to get my hand on some Ultra Balls, but I don't have a whole lot of money. Let's just buy, uh, let's just buy those. And uh, we still got 11 Super Repels, so I think we're good. I think we're good here, guys. We can keep moving. Did I talk to you? Did I talk to everyone in here? I don't think I talked to you. He just got a Mewtwo through Wonder Trade. Lucky. Alright, we're all good in here. Oh man, there's just some really good TMs actually. I gotta see what I got. Brutal Swing um, is a dark type move that I could teach to Crab Brawler. McBro. MC Bro. Better than Pursuit. Let's do it. You hardly ever see Pokemon tri Switch in this game. A few times it happened in um, X and Y. Doesn't happen in this one. Uh, we got Grass Knot, which we could teach to some things, but we won't. Smart Strike. Uh, attack never misses. It's a steel type never miss move. T Wave. Shadow Claw. Dragon Tail. Low Sweep. It's a fighting type move, which we could teach to, uh, to Bouncy. Probably better to learn than Stomp. Vino Shock. Uh, no one. Bulk Up. Double Team Leech Life. Uh, 80 Power Bug Type Attack. 
Uh, which Nips can learn. Uh, probably better to learn than Fury Cutter, so we'll do that. Psychic. Uh, can be learned by our good friend down here. Probably... Is it better to learn than Acrobatics? Acrobatics is useful as something that takes on Grass-type Pokémon. Uh, which makes this kind of a difficult pick. So I think I'll keep it, actually. Uh, facade. U-terms, you can teach to Goose. And so I will. Better than Tackle, obviously. Ooh, let's see who can learn Swords Dance, huh? For Mantis. Very cool. Payback, Rock Polish. Bulldoze. Looks like we're good. We're good here. We can keep moving. Visit the garden. Is this a little nook? No. So we enter the garden. Melee garden. Wow, this place is huge. Oh. <laughs> Everywhere so big. He's smiling at the little... Uh, so where's the professor? He's the one who told us to come here, yeah? It's a map of Melee Garden. Apparently there's some kind of motif. No writing upon any Pokemon within the garden except for Charizard. We got, some, we got a grassy area here. No writing on Pokemon, so we can't surf. Uh, I can't, he's blocking me, so I can't cross the bridge there. So I have to walk around. Oh, thank goodness these aren't trainers. Oh, no, one of them is a trainer. Man. So this is going to be a, a long time coming in this area. To the left was some wild Pokemon, but let's just keep rotating around. Now we'll take on this trainer here. He's got a Persian, and it's a uh, non-Alolan form because it's a Sightseer. Sightseers use regular forms of Pokemon. Persian and Marowak go down from this little trainer. Goose gains a bunch of levels. McBro gains uh, a couple of levels. Mitch gives me 3,000 Poke Yen. And the, uh, the journey continues. Simple as that. Oh, uh, so I was hitting A to see if there was anything on the ground, but I guess since I fished, I might as well just check and see if there's actually anything here more valuable than a Magikarp, and there isn't. So at least now we know that there wasn't any reason to to check that out. We have a grassy seed item. I'm not really sure what that does. An item to be held by a Pokemon. It boosts defense on grassy terrain. Okay. Boost defense on grassy terrain. So, we're back in here. And let's see if they have any new Pokemon for us. Uh, no, it's another Petlil. Petlil gone. Running back through the grass here. Hoping to see if we'll find something new, at least, in this area. Psyduck. I mean, not every single zone can have a ton of brand new Pokemon, but a man can dream, can't he? One thing I will say is we're getting a lot of experience from some of these battles, uh, trainers and wild battles alike. But we can't go any farther that way. We are blocked from going forward, so uh, left it is. Psyduck again. Go 
a little little boy a little girl trainer over here today is Pokemon day every day is Pokemon day you silly little girl preschooler Eilie water dropping everything I'm such a klutz no god it's gone forever where did it no I mean yes I found it Cleffa preschooler alley goes down giving us next to nothing in the monetary department that reminds me uh, I should move the amulet coin item Over to Nips. It's a little water bridge that we can walk across there. And a rare bone that was just randomly hidden under that tree. And a battle in this grassy knoll. A polywag, which we already have. And a polywhirl. We have a bridge here that we can cross that leads us to a little area here. The girl talking about the pond. A uh, fishing zone there. This little map comes back across this way to this little girl who was blocking the path also. So this whole thing, the whole point of this is just to kind of make this a maze, which is fine. So this will probably take us back to how. Yeah. And that's where we came from. So they're just they're just basically making a maze for us. Uh, giving us a little something to explore. Ah, oh, look guys, it's a little vanilla ice. Or vanillux. So there's the uh, there's the professor. It sure did. Only something amazing. The ultra wormhole open, opened up. Like, right in front of us. And there were ultra beasts in there. Ooh, you get to see an ultra wormhole and an ultra beast? This is amazing. Oh, yeah. Sounds like an even better reason to train hard. Yeah, on your island challenge. Maybe someone will be able to go through the ultra wormhole. All right, the next trial up is Mount blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can reach us here to get stuff. You can go without me, Professor. He's got a hot date with the Malasada shop. Roger that, good buddy. Hey, Geo, did you know there's an observatory on Mount Hulukuani? I didn't read what that was. Now I'm out. So, it doesn't look like there's really... <laughs> hey, goodbye. Bye, how? Didn't look like there's a whole lot else here. This place kind of reminds me of the Johto region. Miley City, I mean. You know what I mean? No. Why does it remind... Why did, This person said it too. Oh, it's designed by people from Johto. But why does it remind him of Johto? I don't I don't really see it. There's a... Uh, a special water hole here. Nothing seems to be biting, but I'm just going to see whether or not there's anything special. Kind of got a little... Oh, a big pearl. Nice! Zero complaints in that department. Uh, we've got another an item up here. Don't think I can tuck around any of these corners. I'm going to try. No, I cannot. Get into a battle in this corner. See if it's anything new. Uh, no, it's another Meowth. Meowth goes down. So we have seen several different types of Pokemon here, but nothing new, despite all that. Sightseer Akali. With two Pokemon, one of which is Eradicate. Old school. Sightseer Akali goes down, and we still get some money, even though, uh, ooh, sweet, Goose is evolving. We still got a pretty good boost to our cash, even though for Mantis, Mr. Nips, 
fainted on me in the uh, in the first battle there. All right, Goose, what you got? Oh God, you're disgusting, gum shoes. <laughs> oh my God, he looks like Donald Trump. <laughs> Oh boy, gum shoes. Goose. Once again, a nickname. There's a parent to the first one in the Pokemon line, but not to the neck and not to the last one, the second one, neck and one. It adores having Rattata and Radicate for dinner. As it's diurnal, it never encounters them. This Pokemon boasts incredible patience. The best patience. I have the best patience. It's terrific. Ask anyone. <laughs> uh, this is conspicuous. There's no items over here for me to pick up. You sure about that? You sure about that? Uh, seems pretty sure. A couple of battles left to go, I think, and then we'll be uh, we'll be done with this garden. Doesn't look like there's anything special or new here, though. Ooh, uh, a strange creature sucked into the Zygarde cube. Uh, but other than that, I think that's everything. Looking at the map below, there looks like a pretty big volcano here, but there's no way for me to get into it. There's a building above. I, I think I've explored this area pretty much to the fullest at this point, so I should be able to head on out the uh, the old California way. I didn't see anything else in there that was missing, and I had quite a few battles, so uh, that should be everything. I don't I don't think there's anything else missing. We got a Lily talk here, and a Zygarde cube behind her. So, do you mind if I ask you something? Nebby, calm down. Pew? <laughs> you want to go to the ruins? Yes, I want to take Nebby to visit Ula Ula's ruins. But they are located in a large desert. I don't want to ask that of you. Right now, I'm planning to visit Melee Library. There's a book I want to look for there. Maybe you'd even be willing to help me. I know the library is within the city of Melee somewhere. Even if, or even I should be able to find it. I can do this. Pew? Melee library next, huzzed. Maybe you could probably do with some learning. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save now because there's a lot more to uh, to experience in this city and I don't want this episode to run on for too long. So uh, check back on the next episode as we finish exploring Melee and then who knows what comes next. As always, my name's Gym Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.